This guy is Pythagoras, and this thing is a Pythagoras cup. It's a two and a half thousand year old practical joke based on science, and I found one when I wasn't expecting it. You probably remember Pythagoras from his little side projects like figuring out how triangles work, discovering the five platonic solids, being one of the first to discover that the Earth is in fact round, and numerous other contributions to maths, science and society. He was also a teacher, and he would often serve his students wine, as teachers apparently often do. However, these little wine slash education escapades would often get out of hand as the students would fight over the amount of wine they were given. In order to solve the problem, Pythagoras had an epiphany and invented this thing. An odd looking cup with a protrusion in the center. The cup works just fine, provided you only fill it with the correct amount of wine, or in this case, soapy water. But as soon as you get greedy and overfill the cup, the entire contents of the cup will fall out through the base of the cup, where and when you least expect it. I 3D printed this cup, so here's the model it was printed from so I can show you the cross section. French mathematician Blaise Pascal discovered Pascal's law in 1647, which proves that in a liquid system such as these channels, the fluid level will always be even in interconnected areas. So as the liquid rises in the outside, the cup part, the liquid will also rise through this little channel on the inside, eventually reaching the top and creating a sealed siphon. Because the liquid is actually entering the siphon from the bottom of the cup, down here, the entire contents of the cup then drain out through the stem of the cup. Why am I telling you about this? I'm glad you asked, and approximately three people will get that reference. I recently spotted a Pythagoras cup in the wild. This is the Powerhouse Museum in Ultimo, Sydney. It's part of the Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences, and it has a lot of awesome stuff in it, including a train, a gigantic bust of Yuri Gagarin, the Lockheed Lounge, a sofa inspired by the design of Lockheed aircraft. It doesn't look very comfortable at all. A mock-up of the nose cone of the space shuttle, which is always fun. The original destination board from Central Railway Station in Sydney, and the only Saturn V rocket engine on display outside of the United States, and heaps of other things, it's a huge museum. It also includes a section dedicated to the history of steam and power generation fitting to the museum's own history as a former electric generator for the Sydney tram network. Among the displays in the steam history area, hidden in a little corner, is a demonstration of an old-style hand-operated water pump. This display includes a secret Pythagoras cup. To demonstrate how the pump works, it's got these plastic compartments so you can see the water flowing. As you pump, the top compartment fills up, then it reaches critical mass and it drains away into the bottom container ready to start the demo again. This mechanism is a Pythagoras cup. It's awesome, it's a practical application of one of my favourite silly toys. In this case it works perfectly because the point of the model is to demonstrate the process of pumping water and allowing the water to stay in the top compartment for a while after it's pumped rather than immediately draining away allows you to see what you're achieving as you pump the handle. But it also means that the model will automatically reset once it reaches maximum, so everyone can have the same demonstration. I bet most people who manipulate this little hand pump probably think that it's automated using some kind of trigger or electric pump or something. But it's not, it's much, much simpler. And it's based on a two and a half thousand year old practical joke. The Powerhouse Museum is supposedly moving to Parramatta at some point in the near future, so if you want to see this wild Pythagoras cup in its native habitat, you might want to hurry. I have no idea if it's going to be included in the displays at the new location. If you found this interesting, then you are my new best friend, and you should probably also consider subscribing and hitting the little bell, because I'll probably be getting excited about really weird things in strange places and telling you all about them in the future. You can also follow IDU on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, and you can check out the IDU website at idu.watch for behind the scenes stuff and extra photos and stuff. So thank you for watching.